Today is the 18th of April. I went to go up to where I like to fish for trout. And unfortunately, they have already raised the water levels up there to the point that I can no longer cross and hike and, you know, I can't go fishing up there, so I'm saying. So, good thing about that is that, well, I got a couple other places that I'll probably go try for trout, but today is not one of them because I did not plan for it. So, we're down here at the little spot that I like to do some smallmouth fishing for. Oh, there's a hole there. So, gonna try for some small jaws on the fly rod. See how that works. Didn't work out too well last week. I think I'm gonna actually sit down here on this little this little spot for a smidge. Water level looks a little higher than normal. Not a whole lot. Oh, bust my butt here. Had plenty of people down here fishing. Well, it looks like it's got a decent amount of depth. So we might get something out of here. I got a good couple of feet. Get that woolly bugger. There we go. Now it's sinking good. So we're gonna try down here and then we'll move up. And then I got the other section of stream that is nearby that we can try. But right now this is always a good spot. Well, it used to be a really good spot, but you know, rivers change. Unfortunately. This one requires my drag is tight, tight, tight. Still tight. I think I'm tightening it. There we go. That's better. But you know, river levels change, so. Holes fill in, new holes develop. So we'll see what we can do. Looks like, yeah, we got a little bit more water than it was last week. Not much, but maybe maybe about a foot. Um, probably not about yeah, probably about six inches. See if we can't get something. Oh, nope. Thought I had a fish there for a second, but it must have been grabbing the ground or so I got a knot in my line. No. Hmm. Must have been the tumbleweed. Or there's a rock or a... I can see a tumbleweed over that way, but... Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot the steeple cast. Where we go? Well, at least we've caught a tree so far. Very small tree.
little bit more line out work on our double haul so we can get that extra distance with reduced amount of casting Twelve thirty. Yeah, not much further. It's gotten rusty with my casting. If I don't have that back cast room, that's for sure. This woolly bugger may be too small. We have to throw a more sizable one on. I guess that's why they call it fishing. And not catching. What the? We got some helicoptering going on. Line went over here, the fluer went over there. Yeah. We're whirly gigging on the arm when we're casting. What do we got? Oh, we got a fish. All right, we got a fish finally. What do you know? What do you know? Took a while. Finally got a small jaw to take a fly. Ooh, it might be a decent sized one too. I'm not being able to just horse them in. Oh yeah, that's a good sized small mouth. All right. It's not a, nothing like North Dakota yak angler or anything like that, but this is a respectable enough one. Probably the best one I've pulled out of here in a while. Well, speaking too soon. Come on, buddy. Let me let you go so you can get back to doing what you're doing. And I can apparently get that tangle out of my line that I got in there. Not interested. Oh, putting too much slack in there. Come on. No, enough of that. Enough. You're a good size one, I'll give you. you know, probably 13 or so. Definitely been feeding. Well, maybe 15 or 16, I don't know, sure. Ah, okay. I'm not cooperating. I'm rusty on landing this fish today. Come on, bud. Let me get you landed. We can get you back to doing what you want to do and not this. 
oh, I take it back. You're probably like 17. There we go. Damn. Yeah, that's a good one. That's definitely the quality that I can find out here. That is definitely the best smallmouth I have found in this section in a while. Right there in the lip. Just burly. Only oh, yeah, I've been crushing crawlies. Let's see. What big? How big are you here? From the tip there down to about. Eh. From about the tip down to a little past the lefty crane signature. So I'd say, yeah, probably. Yeah, from the tip of my fingers to the middle of my elbow. So probably 15, 17. Thanks for coming, bud. It's been a long time since I've seen a good smallmouth like that out of here. A couple of years at least in this section. All right. That makes not being able to trout fish not so bad. I'll always, you know, 20 inch trout or a 17 inch smallmouth, man. They both fight pretty well, especially rivers. River fish, I love them. like to get that line you know to get that good turnover land it out there nice and soft like you don't want to I found out here the, the way that it is super clear super calm these fish if you're just out here flogging the water if they're not aggressive you'll scare them off and they won't bite nothing Nothing. Nothing. Ooh, gotta work out a little. Whoa. Ah. Work on my casting some more again. Tell I haven't been casting a lot. especially with something confining me on my back. Although this section is not that bad. I can kind of get high enough up with a mod with a slight steeple cast to get a good distance and All right, that's kind of more or less fishing kind of low and slow right there right over the rocks I can feel it kind of tacking
Wish I would have shot straight out and not kind of landed over, but whatever. Half tempted to throw this thing underneath a bobber and just let it slow drift. Oh, standing on my line. All right. Got up on the high bank. Anything going on? At least that way I can be more irritated by the fact that I'm not catching fish now that I can see them. Careful what I got. I got a decent amount of back cast right here. As long as I don't catch that stupid tree. around Some freaking horse fly trying to bite me
Another one, yes. All right. Let's get over here where I can land a little easier. I got line for days all around me. Normally don't ever fight a fish on the reel. Not normally. I'm just trying to get the line up so I can move around a little bit. Looks like another good one. Not as good as that first one, but not a bad one. Like probably 15, maybe 13. Alright, well today's turned out to be a decent day. Oh, 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 oh. Good old river smallies on the fly. Come on, bud. Let me get you over here. Come on, no. Where are you going? The sooner you get over here, the sooner I let you go, man. I put too much of a leader on. I got so much line out there, I can't get that fish in. Come on, buddy. You're not that big. You're definitely fighting though like you are. Where is my line? There you are. Oh, well I'll take it back. He's a good one. Looks like the big girl, the big ones are out to play today. All right, there we go. A little woolly bugger. Barely had it hooked all that well. That's a, that's a, that almost looks like the same freaking fish that I caught earlier. Just a good old chunk. All right, there you go, bud. That's a good one. Bye-bye. Man. And if Wyoming Game and Fish would just try to do a little bit of conservation out here, they would have that much more angling tourism. But then again, that also ruined the spot for me because then everybody and their grandmother would be out here fishing for them.